All right, man, Frank Martin, you know, he spoke about the situation that happened between, you know, him and Shakir Stevens. He breaks his silence. Um, yeah, he breaks his silence on what happened with Shakir Stevenson or whatever. Um, nonetheless, bro, uh, uh, nonetheless, uh, let me see. I'm trying to get exactly what he said. So basically, this is what he said. Uh, he was talking to Boxiana and them. I don't know that other chick she got on there, but shout out to them. Um, at least they ain't quit talking boxing like they ball headed, you know, a uh, pinball head, you know, Negro. Uh, I'm a weak slave, nigga. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> but uh, Frankie Boy say this Frank Martin on Secure Stevenson and Sauce. That's some beast, uh, bitch ass shit. That's some old shit. Um, he said, we grown, man. He, we could have easily made everything happen, but the ish talking, you make the ish personal, call him another man to be. Come on, bro. We're men. At the end of the day, dude, hey, it is what it is. Do something about it. If we could have easily made some shake like a like 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 a tree, man, you could have made it shake. And y'all didn't make it shake. You know, then he gets to talking about how, you know, um secure a hypocrite. Because he basically offered, you know, he basically turned down the same, you know, he turned down eight million uh for fight Devin Haney, which that was fake. That was fake. I mean, I don't hold that against Frank Martin because we don't know what's real and what's fake. But before I get to that aspect of it, talking about the money situation part, I mean talking about the B situation, yeah. I think that was that was that was that was that was mad, that was mad out of out of line. But then again, if you ain't like it, what you gonna do about it? Because once he get away with call, speaking to you like like you a little hoe, what well, I mean everybody gonna do the same thing. No cap. So the million dollar question: What is Frank gonna do about it? That's the million dollar question: What you gonna do about it? Because if you don't do nothing about it, I mean he from the streets. If you don't do nothing about it, um, you know then everybody else gonna 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 think. Um, don't think you sweet and they're going to be they, be able to think they can do the same thing to you. That's one thing about, about the streets, bro. Once you let something slide, then it's a, it's a, it's a sign of weakness. I mean, that's the, that go out there in animal nature too. You know, once you let one thing slide, you know, then they going to, they going to, everybody going to think you sweet like a lollipop, like you a tissy pop. I mean, so at the end of the day, what you going to do about it? Speaking on the internet, I wouldn't even spoke on it until I seen that ninja in person. You know, it's kind of like a paid a fool, man. Find out where that man is at. That's where that's kind of what it's like. Find out where that man at and go to his face and see if he keep that same energy calling you a be in a hole through the internet. Say it to my face. And if he say if he utter that word, you punch him right in his mouth. And if he, he sue, then he gonna be the one that like a be in a hole. I'll punch him dead in this shit. Real talk. Tunes, if he if he utter those words to my face, you gotta slap him, punch him dead in this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know. You know, this is how you got to handle it at this point. I'm not talking about nothing that happened on the Internet. I need to sit down with that man, you know, cameras and no cameras around. I need to sit down with that man or I need to see that man. And I need to, see, you know, and if he say that, say what he said to my face, what he said on camera, calling me all those names, you know, I got to smack him, smacking the shit out of his ass. And if I feel like I got to smack him with a pistol or a gat to get my point across, that's what I'm going to do. Real talk. That's what I'm gonna do. No cap. No cap. Whatever I gotta do. If I feel like I gotta do a Charleston White and pepper spray cuzzo, that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. So hell yeah, that's just the only way as a man that you can you can handle that. Now, if he said, well, you know, I ain't meaning nothing like that, but you did this and you did, and he don't call you a bitch in a the hole, then we good. 
But I'm straight checking that nigga. I'm finding out where the next fight he gonna be at. All the whole thing. A camera ain't gotta be around. It could be a folk story. But him and I know what would happen. That's how I'll handle that. That's how. And, and at that point, if it, it wasn't dead after that, and he keep talking reckless, then I hire some niggas to jump him and stump his ass out. On some, on some, how they did the lynch mob. How easy he hired them niggas to jump the lynch mob at that hip hop convention. Cause he crossed the line, as, you know. He crossed Frank Martin line as a man. You don't call no other man that. He talking too reckless. You look how Gillian Wallow looked at him, like, no, you don't do no shit like that, bro. On, on some real shit. And don't and don't and me, I, Frank Martin. I ain't explaining shit on wax. You hear me? I ain't I ain't explaining shit on wax. I'm going to find that man. I'm going to find that man. I'm going to find that man. Real talk. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing else for us to speak about. I'm going to find that man. Now, as far as the money, he's saying, well, he a hypocrite over the Devin Haney situation. That's a different situation. It was no $8 million involved in that situation, and we all know it. So maybe he ain't know it or whatever, and that's how he's trying to use to spend it. It wasn't no $32 million involved. But if he's saying that, you know, well, he turned the split down for a chance to be an undisputed and then got mad at me for turning the fight down because you didn't give me exactly what I wanted, then I understand. He turned the same 25% down. Then, okay, you got, you got somewhat of an argument. You got somewhat of an argument. You know, most people felt like Shakira should have took to 25% for Devin Haney. Well, it's less money than I made in my last three fights. Hey, call his bluff. You want big names? You know, a lot of these dudes don't want to sacrifice. I understand it's about the money because you mess around and you get robbed. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you take less money and you get robbed. But if you feel like you can beat him, how reckless he be talking, you should go whoop him. Take that 25%. And get the belts off of him. And I guarantee you, had you take the twenty five percent, Devin Haney and Bill, and then with a Muda, with a Muda bar again, the fight wasn't gonna happen. That would have been the ultimate bluff. That would have been the ultimate bluff move. But you know, at the end of the day, trying to speak on another man' financial situation and another situation, you know, to make yourself, you know, justify what you did, no. Nah, Cause especially, you know, the next fight that you take, because the next fight that he take is still gonna be for a belt. The next fight that you take gonna be versus somebody from from Kikistan or from Uzbekistan or 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 from you know South Arabia, some shit like that. That's the next opponent you gonna face. Let's keep it a bean. That's the next opponent that you gonna face for the NABF Intercontinental Gold. Double regular champion. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. So at the end of the day, um, you know, he can say what he want to say. But that's what you're going to do. So, uh, but yeah, trying to justify your situation by something that he did in the past. No, nah, you was making six or seven times more than you than you ever was gonna make. You can't justify that, bro. Or two or three times, four times, whatever it was you was gonna make. You can't justify that. Sorry. Sorry, but we do agree on what he called you. We do. I do agree that he shouldn't have called you that. And I told you how you handle that. I told you exactly how you handle it. So, but you still let Al Hammond let you duck that fight.
Ain't no way around it. You still let Al Heyman allow you to duck that fight. You can't you can't allow that man to do that to you. You can't allow that. So, but you know it is what it is. So let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Check out the uh, Box News playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.